It almost goes without saying, the Rottweiler is one of the most powerful and popular guard dog breeds on the planet. Apart from being an extremely capable personal protection dog by nature, the Rottweiler is an excellent sports dog and police service dog. In today's video, we're going to discuss the amazing temperament of the Rottweiler in much more detail. Welcome back to the Fenrir Rottweiler Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the amazing Rottweiler, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Rottweiler companions. So if you love the Rottweiler as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Rottweiler video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a good look at the Rottweiler's wonderful temperament, first discussing their natural guarding abilities and then their behaviour as house dogs and companions. So let's get started with looking at the origins of this muscle-packed protector. Rottweilers are one of Germany's oldest dog breeds whose history can be traced back all the way to the Roman Empire. Back then, the Rottweilers' ancestors were used to herd and guard cattle for the Roman army. After the Romans had crossed the Alps and conquered parts of modern Germany, these strong herding dogs were crossed with the local breeds, and it's those offspring that became the base stock for the breeding stock for today's Rottweiler. Now, over the century, the butcher's dog of Rottweil distinguished itself as an extremely capable dog in driving cattle and in protecting both livestock and its owners from thieves. Hey guys, very quickly, in case you didn't know, we have our perfect puppy program. It's the program that I designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted. So if you want more information on that, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have now gone through that process to extremely high levels of success as some testimonials you can go and check out more information it's all in the description box below but let's get back into the video you were just watching during the Second World War, Rottweilers were trained and utilised as war dogs to fight alongside German soldiers. According to veterans of World War II, many more lives would have been lost had it not been for their fearless dogs alerting them to ambushes. Now, in more recent times, breeders have tried to bring the ancient butcher's dog uh, high natural levels of aggression down a few notches. Were they overly successful? Well, unfortunately, statistics give us reason to doubt that. Naming the Rottweiler is responsible for more human deaths by dog attacks in the US between 2005 and 2019, only second to the American Pitbull Terrier. Combined, Pitbulls and Rottweilers contributed to 76% of the total recorded deaths. And while some of these unfortunate tragedies could probably have been avoided by correct training and socialization, certain risks do come with the breed. Fatal accidents involving Rottweilers are known to have happened even to very experienced trainers and breeders. These were owners who had done all of the socialization and who had Rottweilers who had passed challenging IPO qualification requirements to breed a dog. IPO requires high levels of obedience, impulse control and impeccable conduct with humans unfamiliar to the dog. And while some of these accidents can be related to the breed's high prey drive, such as attacks on small children, others cannot. Especially intact male Rottweilers seem prone to really challenging their handler. And by challenging, I do not mean the dog growling at the person, but the dog actually trying to bite that person. Other incidences can be related to the Rottweiler's immense natural protection instincts. Should the dog perceive a threat to its owner's safety, it absolutely will kick into action and the same applies if someone enters a property the dog is guarding rottweilers do not need any training to be a highly effective personal protection dogs and guard dogs so then whilst they can make excellent family companions and guardians caution is advised for everyone planning to have a rottweiler as a family pet as we just said tragedies happen with this breed even in the households of calm consistent leaders 
However, some Rotties adore children and are very patient with them. They are calm and gentle in the house and even get along well with other pets, especially if they grow up with them. It goes without saying that you should never let your dog and your young kids play together unattended. Even the friendliest Rottweiler is still a large and powerful dog who can easily knock a child over even if it's completely by accident and cause quite serious harm. Now, because of their history as herding dogs, Rotties are prone to nipping their family into the legs and in the ankles. This is not so much an aggressive behaviour, but an attempt to herd their flock. Of course, you should be nipping that kind of behaviour in the bud whilst your dog is still very young. You do not want an adult Rottweiler sinking its teeth into people's legs, even if it thinks it's just doing it in a fun, working way. Now, Rottweilers are medium to high energy dogs, keen, alert, and always eager to work. They absolutely love vigorous play and long walks, and these powerful dogs require lots of exercise every day to stay balanced and content, and that exercise absolutely should include obedience drills. Being highly intelligent and eager to please their owners, Rottweilers make superb sports dogs as well as service and even therapy dogs. In terms of working drive, prey drive and intelligence, the Rottweiler is on roughly the same level as the Doberman or the German Shepherd. However, the breed lacks the Doberman's gentleness and German Shepherd's extreme trainability. Rotties do come with a stubborn streak. Coupled with their high levels of independence and confidence, this stubbornness makes training them even more challenging than the average guardian breed. For this reason alone, the Rottweiler is absolutely not the breed to go for if you are new to the world of dog ownership. These large guard dogs do definitely need an owner who is not only experienced in having dogs, but in owning and training these strong-minded guardian breeds. In the right hands, the Rottweiler can and will unfold its full potential. This is a highly effective and driven working breed that can be educated to high levels of tracking, obedience and guarding. At the same time though, Rottweilers are amazingly devoted and deeply loyal to their humans, which makes them the perfect choice for experienced owners who are looking for a powerful natural guardian, a dog will who defend them and their homes with its life if necessary. So I hope you enjoyed that kind of quick breakdown of the incredible, even though sometimes negative temperaments of the Rottweiler. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and don't forget, if you are new here, to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Rottweiler video as we have two coming to this channel every single week. So again, thank you so much and I cannot wait to see you again on the next episode of the Femre Rottweiler Show.